faculty driven institute is such a thumbnail you might have seen it already so guys actually when you are going for water purifier you have a lot of confusion whether you should go for uv uf ro tds zinc copper there are so many varieties and variants available in the market but what to choose what not to choose that will depend upon the quality of water which is coming in your home so here i have i just don't want to name the brand same but you guys can check it out here i am having one of the water purifier okay but this is only uv and uf so you can ask me that why we are not taking ro so i tell you each and everything we go for the unboxing of it and i tell you when is uv and uf required and when you can avoid ro when you can avoid tds and when you can incorporate zinc and copper so let's do the unboxing of it okay guys so we will do the unboxing of this ये एक वाटर फिल्टर जिसकी हम लोग अनबॉक्सिंग करेंगे सो क्विकली भैया इज ऑल्सो हेल्पिंग मी सो गाइज ये यूवी है एंड दिस इज यूएफ इट डज नॉट हैव आर ओ एंड भैया ऑल्सो टोल्ड दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक इट आउट वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू हैव आर ओ और नॉट उसके लिए वी हैव दिस टीडीएस मीटर I might have already shown you before also in case if you remember. So we we'll check it out the water. This is the water which will be coming and getting purified will be a boring water. So we will check it out the tedious of this boring water. Okay, so this is coming around two seventy ppm. Okay, around that is two seventy seven. 277 ppm आ रहा है विच इज अंडर द एक्सेप्टेबल लिमिट सो डेफिनेटली वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू यूज आर ओ फॉर दिस टेक्निकली इनिशियली वी वर हैविंग दिस ओल्ड वॉटर प्योरिफायर सो वी हैड दिस फिल्टर इज दिस वी कॉल इट एज प्री फिल्टर सो दैट वॉटर वंस गेट्स फिल्टर्ड इन दिस एंड देन इट गोज टू द वॉटर प्योरिफायर बट दिस वॉज एन ओल्ड वन सो नाउ वी विल बी इंस्टॉलिंग अ न्यू प्री फिल्टर ओके सो दैट फर्स्ट इट विल फिल्टर इट एंड देन इट विल गो टू द वॉटर प्योरिफायर एंड दैट यू वी यू एल जिंक एंड कॉपर विल डू इट्स फंक्शन ओके बट यू विल बी वॉन्डरिंग दैट मैम यू हैव एंड इंस्टॉल्ड आर ओ नीदर टी डी एस कंट्रोल सो वॉट आर द पैरामीटर्स बाय विच यू डिसाइड इट सो आई टॉक अबाउट इट राइट नाउ यर स्टूडेंट्स वी आर हैविंग दिस वॉटर फिल्टर कार्टरेज As I told you initially that we'll be having a pre-filter. So this is the pre-filter pump, the new one in which we'll be placing this cartridge. So first the water will filter through this, then it will go to the water purifier. It will get filtered in the water purifier, and then through here we can just take out the water. So this is the whole procedure. Let us assemble it, and then I'll show you the final video of it. Hello, my dear students. So as I told you, it is being assembled. This is the pre-filter with us, and this is the. Equipment water purifier and now let's take out the water from this. Okay, and uh, if I check it out, okay, this water is good to go. And if I check it out, uh, I'm having the tedious meter with us. So initially it was showing around two seventy five, and now if I check out the tedious of this, okay. So the TDS is coming out round about to two fifty. So slight reduction is there in the TDS, and definitely you can consume this water. This is only UV and UF, and it doesn't include any RO. Now, if you'll ask me that now, what is UV, what is UF, and what is RO? So for that, let's go to the studio. So my dear students, right now you have seen that I have shown you the whole assembly of the water purifier UV and UF was there. but the question comes then when to use which water purifier when to purchase which water purifier you might be in the dilemma so let's have a quick look about it in discussion okay so let's start with the session quickly as you know that this is a new faculty driven institute so even if you haven't subscribed to our channel do so like it and share it with your friends and welcome to the sandika funda if you don't know about me you can go through my profile and now we will be comparing ro uv and uf RO stands for reverse osmosis UV stand for ultraviolet and UF stands for ultra filtration okay now we need to basically differ that how does these three differ from each other number one when you talk about RO water purifier basically in reverse osmosis you will be using a semi permeable membrane 
So what does it do if let us suppose in your water excess of TDS that is total dissolved solids is present okay which is more than the limits which is being desired like you know acceptable limit for total dissolved solids is 500 mg per liter and cost for rejection limit is 200 mg per liter. So if it is more than that okay so what we will do is we will pass it through a membrane under pressure so that only water molecules will be passing through that membrane if let us suppose this is a membrane so only water molecules will pass and here let us suppose water molecule and solids were there so through this membrane permeable membrane only water will be passing and the solids will be retained okay this is one of the thing now there are a lot of you can say research are going on some people say that ro is generally a lot of water is being wasted that's very very true Secondly, which I talk about is some says that reverse osmosis, they claim that we retain the natural minerals and nutrients and the harmful we are eliminating. But research says that they remove all the minerals from our body, basically from the water. So when we consume that water, there will be deficiency of minerals in our body. Okay, so some people say we should use RO water. Some people say we don't use RO water. But technically, if you talk it about, just check out the tedious of the water, which is there in your homes and then decide whether you should consider RO or you if you don't want because if your TDS is within the acceptable limit then there is no use of RO okay now let's talking about UV that is ultraviolet now you have already seen this is one of the methods of disinfection in this we have taught you already that here it is you don't have to use any chemicals and all it's very very easy what is there you will be passing the water through a tube is there which will be exposed to radiation okay so they will be killing all the existing microorganisms but remember uv kills the microorganisms it it doesn't remove tds remember that for tds exclusively you have to go for ro uv or uf will not be taking care of the tds okay generally we say it is generally the final steps is there Sometimes you have multiple steps more involved about it. Now, if you talk about UF, UF is again ultra filtration, which you do it here. What is done here is you will pass it through the membrane and whatever the large contaminants, contaminants are basically the disease causing ones. Okay, so you will use a membrane and it will remove all the contaminants, all the microorganisms and even the suspended solids from water. So basically it's like an additional thing which you are providing so that if any sort of microorganisms or suspended solids are there which can eventually be harmful to our body. So they can be removed. Okay, now if you want to know that ma'am, uh, what is the difference between UF filter, RO filter and UV filter. So here is the comparison at the end, like UF, it works without electricity, RO definitely needs electricity and UV also needs electricity. Generally in market, if you go for RO, UV, UF, TDS, it is expensive. If you go for uh, UV, UF, it is comparatively four five thousands lesser okay and if you have uh, let us suppose as i told you tds within the acceptable limit then there is no uh, much use of ro there okay similarly uf it kills and filters all the microorganisms similarly all okay but uf cannot filter it however it will kill so that's why we have the combination of uv and uf now other things are being mentioned you guys can read it like normal tap water it can work okay this is uf also normal uh, uv also and uf also normal tap water but ro needs electricity for sure okay then uh, uh, uf it will not remove any dissolved solids okay it will also not remove any dissolved solids and technically that is the reason i told you that they won't be removing that tds tds is what total dissolved solids but RO removes all the dissolved solids, salts and minerals. But the thing is some researchers say that they remove all the total dissolved solids. So whatever is good for our body that is also being uh, uh, removed. So we are not getting that minerals. Okay, so that will create a deficiency. But that is a point of research which is going on. So I cannot comment on that. Okay, it will remove suspended, suspended, uh, this one suspended visible impurities. It will not remove any suspended and visible impurities. Okay, size of the membrane because obviously a membrane will be used 0 0.01 micron here 0 0.001 micron here suitable for water with TDS below 300 ppm suitable for water with 3ds above 300 mm generally we go for acceptable limit 500 ppm but uh, the water which comes less than 300 ppm don't go for RO. Okay, and uh, this is also for TDS below 5.
okay and if it is above 300 uh, ppm generally uh, the water purifiers company also they says that recommend ro water and eventually the doctors also say that in that case it's better that you go for ro but you can check it out with the tds meter is there you can check out the water tds level of your water if it is less than 300 ppm don't go for ro okay so that is the comparison so i hope you understood now if you are going to purchase it or if anybody like you are an engineer and if anybody ask you like you are from civil that what is the difference between uv uf and ro so i guess from today's session you will be able to answer it and if you want me to make any videos on any sunday ka panda video kindly do comment in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video till then take care of yourself bye bye and study hard thank you everyone